Hello everybody, welcome back to RC on Track. <clears throat> we have our WL Toys car sitting here. This will be a how to um, install the servo. And it is for the Hannibal Desert Buggy. I have a QR code here on the wall. I'm going to move the camera in view of that. Scan that QR code. You'll know where to find your servo if you haven't found one. Had a hard time finding that guy. I found it on eBay. So I'll move the camera in. There's your QR code. On that little sticker there. Go ahead and scan that up. Alright. And we gotta reposition the camera. There we go. <clears throat> so um First thing you're going to do is, of course, take your top off. Um, it's pretty intuitive. There's a video that we have on WL Toys, how to do that. And it's, my daughter actually did most of that video, so it's there for you if you need it. Um, when you take your car apart, organize your screws out. That way you know where's the home for it when you get to it. Um, I look at these screws and I'm even a little confused on where a couple of them go, but I'm pretty sure that I, I can uh, put it back together, no big deal. Um, it's been apart for about two weeks, give or take. So we'll get the servo in and then uh, we'll take it out and, and give it a rip real quick. Um, I haven't got an actual way to check the speed on this thing yet. Uh, we're assuming it's at that 100 mile an hour mark. It's pretty fast, um, like extremely fast. When it hits something, it, it does break. So we uh, upgraded the whole car with hop-ups. Didn't change out the shocks because they actually give you good shocks with this car. Um, one with a brushless setup. So this servo, you you get this one off of uh, Am off of uh, eBay because um, it plugs into the new receiver here it's three wire and the old servo that came originally in this car you can get on Amazon um, just you can't get this one on Amazon so we'll get right into it and get this servo mounted up get out of the package here So I've already used this servo in the first build with this car. So I won't be using the steering arm. It's already attached to the car. Let's save that for another project. Um, where's my mounting plate? There. So here's the, the way this thing mounts in. It goes in, clips over the top of the servo like that. Slides right over it. Bam. And then you slide it into position. So, because there's no room in my car anymore for uh, anything, I gotta really get the wire to just kind of sit on the back of the servo like that. <clears throat> and then I'll slide into place. We'll take it off the stand to do this. Just slide it onto the mounting holes that are in the chassis. There's one. We'll go ahead and put the screw in that one. Cool thing they did with this car that I like, it's all Phillips screw. Guess I should have a Phillips screwdriver. Really?
Thank you for that. Come on. So my uh, mounting housing here has got a little bend in it, so it's kind of hard to get it in position, so bear with me. I think that might be it. Wow, it's really bent because I can't seem to find the position for it. There it is, right? Bent. Yeah, there we go. Careful not to over tighten. It is plastic, so definitely want to be. Well, it appears to be on, so now we'll reconnect the steering arm. Now I suggest uh, before you reconnect it, you should uh, go ahead and fire it up, you know, get the power going to it, make sure your, your uh, steering is going to be correct before you tighten that screw. Um, the screw that came with mine is a hex head, which is uh, otherwise known as Allen bolt. <clears throat> there we go, we got that. Let me get the battery, we'll plug it in, let the servo adjust, make sure we got our wheels straight, attach the arm. So all I'm doing right now is plugging in the servo. Now I'll plug in the car to this little battery I got here. Just like that. Pop the steering arm off. Nice. So, real quick, that was my bad. Uh, don't turn your controller off before you turn your car off if it's going to do that one. That almost got really bad. Um, spooked me a little bit. Oh, I guess no, the, the screw that did come with the servo is a uh, Phillips head. I'll go ahead and use the, um, the hex head. It's steel. All right. So make sure your wheels are straight. So that's what I call straight right there. And then put the steering arm on. Screw. 
the screw will help it go on. Just be careful not to over tighten. Oh, I guess you really can't. It's going to bottom out. So, all right. Steering servos in. I'll save you all the gross details of putting the top back on. I'll get back with you and I'll show you how fast this little car can go. Completely upgraded 120 amp uh, ESC. Um, a 550 uh, 36 kV brushless motor. It does have a problem. And I think a simple little shim washer inside on the uh, shaft will change this problem for us. So we don't have to buy a new motor. Um, so that's something else that's going on. We'll do a how-to on that. When you get those cheap motors, sometimes they'll get real jerky and not want to run right. And that's because one side of that shaft is off. It needs to have a shim put in there. It's okay to do that. Just make sure you're using the right material and you won't destroy the motor or the material that you used. All right, so bear with me. Five seconds of magic. All right, guys, so my phone rang, and I had to answer it, and it kicked the video, so I'm hoping to splice it together, or it'll be a two-part video. We got the car back together. Let's go ahead and take it for a, for a test drive and um, see how it's handling. All right, all right, let's get it going. <clears throat> First thing I did, though, when I upgraded this car was I put the on and off switch behind the driver's head there, and... Um, if there was a way to change the mounting pins for the lid, I would be happy to hear that. So I'm going to flip angle on camera and we'll head out. And I don't know if I can do that. I guess I'm not flipping the angle on the camera. All right. So it's going to be a little bit weird to set up. A little bit to set up. Um, we use the skateboard again for a stand. Now this car is really fast. I'll drive. I'll try driving as close as I can to the camera, so we get a good uh, view of it. Just you know, ripping it up. We are going to be changing the tire size, so keep uh, keep into the videos by subscribing. There we go. Car on. Oh, I gotta put more glue on that on and off switch. Ready? Now this is the glitching that I was talking about. You hear that? these little tiny tires it doesn't like it doesn't like the grass too much but seem to drive it straight here's our tire swell they're not swelling up too much because we're not on a fully charged battery This just happened. Brand new servo. Not a good sound. Got a bad one. So with that being said, that sucks. Um, will I send it back for another one? First thing I'm going to do is take the old one and see if it's just a gear. And if I can replace that gear. 
and if so then I'll fix it but it does not sound good for that servo WL Toys Hannibal servo fell not a good day RC on track like share and subscribe all right guys so my phone rang and i had to answer it and it kicked the video so i'm hoping to splice it together or it'll be a two-part video we got the car back together let's go ahead and take it for uh for a test drive and um see how it's handling all right all right let's get it going <clears throat> first thing i did though when i upgraded this car was i put the on and off switch behind the driver's head there and um if there was a way to change the mounting pins for the lid, I would be happy to hear that. So I'm going to flip angle on camera and we'll head out. And I don't know if I can do that. I guess I'm not flipping the angle on the camera. Alright. So it's going to be a little bit weird to set up. But we'll get it set up. Um, we use the skateboard again for a stand. Now this car is really fast. I'll drive. I'll try driving as close as I can to the camera, so we can get a good uh, view of it. Just you know, ripping it up. We are going to be changing the tire size, so keep uh, keep into the videos by subscribing. There we go. Car on. Oh, I gotta put more glue on that on and off switch. Ready? Now this is the glitching that I was talking about. You hear that? tiny tires it doesn't like it doesn't like the grass too much but <laughs> can't seem to drive it straight Here's our tire swell. They're not swelling up too much because we're not on a fully charged battery. This just happened. Brand new servo. Not a good sound. Got a bad one. So with that being said, that sucks. Um, will I send it back for another one? First thing I'm going to do is take the old one and see if it's just a gear. And if I can replace that gear. And if so, then I'll fix it. But it does not sound good for that servo. WL Toys Hannibal Servo fell Not a good day RC on track like share and subscribe